Why don't we begin right in the action with a case study? Could you please tell the story? And I do not know the full story at all. I really just have a prompt in front of me. And that is the story of a 70-year-old woman who had chronic paranoid schizophrenia for 53 years. Why don't we start there, if you wouldn't mind? I'm going to actually use her real name because she gave me permission to use her real name. In the book, I call her Mildred, but her real name is Doris. And Doris had a horrible childhood. She had a lot of PTSD, depression, other things. At, by the time she turned 17, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. She had daily hallucinations and delusions. Over the ensuing decades, she tried numerous antipsychotics, mood stabilizers, antidepressants, and other medicines. None of them worked to stop her symptoms. She slowly but surely gained massive amounts of weight. And, you know, by the time she was 68, she was miserable, hated herself, hated her life. From the ages of 68 to 70, she tried to kill herself at least six times and was hospitalized for those suicide attempts. And at the age of 70, she was referred to a weight loss clinic at Duke University where they were using the ketogenic diet as a weight loss method. And she decided to give it a try for whatever reason. And within two weeks, not only did she begin losing weight, but she spontaneously reported that her long-standing auditory hallucinations were going away. Within months, all of her symptoms of schizophrenia were in full and complete remission. Within six months, she was off all psychiatric medications and remained in full and complete remission. Doris went on to live for another 15 years. She lost 150 pounds, so the weight loss thing was secured, but much more important. She remained symptom-free from symptoms of schizophrenia. She remained off psychiatric medications. She remained out of psychiatric hospitals. She never tried to kill herself again. And when I last spoke with her, she actually said she was happy to be alive. She attributed her she attributed her recovery primarily to God, that she really felt that it was a miracle from God. And, uh, and she asked me to tell her story far and wide to anyone who would listen in the hopes that it might help even one other human being spare the suffering she endured for decades. Sadly, Doris passed away this past January of COVID pneumonia.